Welcome back to Panache Luxury and the continuation of the Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen build. In today's video, Walls and Floors. I begin by lining up a 3 8 inch square dowel between walls 1 and 2, then marking where it will be cut. From this point forward, the dowels will be known as partitions acting as wall supports. Before attaching the partition, I mark then cut a half inch off the right side of wall 1. The partition is then glued to the left side of wall 1. Partition is nice and tight on the wall after drying overnight, and I'm very pleased about that. And this will allow me to add the second wall in, and that's pretty exciting, so I'm looking forward to that. Now, what I noticed um, in adding that partition that there was a bit of overlay here on the side here, so I'm going to have to trim the wall again, and I've already marked it. So, after that is trimmed, it'll be nice and even with the floor. And when I cut the other partition, I also cut another piece. However, it's a bit too high at the top, so I've already marked it off. And that will go right there. And I also made the third wall, and it will need to be painted. And of course, it's doubled. I hope you can see that. So that third wall will go here. And I will put the partition up against the wall here, like so. And I also wanted to mention, too, that I uh, put the other piece of plywood uh, that I purchased when I purchased the other for the countertop. Um, so I just added it here. And there's about one-eighth of an inch um, spacing there. So I uh, have uh, plans for what I want to do with that. So it doesn't look too bad. but. Um, it looks very nice, and I'm very glad that I added that. After cutting the initial half inch off wall one, another half inch was cut off to accommodate the partition, then it was glued into place. Since the board measured 25 inches by 48 inches, I decided to add a laundry room on the back of the kitchen. So I cut a piece of foam board 17 and 3 8 inch by 24 inches for the floor, then glued it into place. More on the laundry room in the next video. In the meantime, here's a preview of what has already been constructed. The board for the diorama is known as Oriented Strand Board or OSB, an engineered wood product often used as an alternative to plywood. I want to thank Jim with Lowe's for gifting the board from the store's scrap pile to the project. Now to foam boarding the bottom of the board. I added three pieces.
pieces on there because um, the uh, foam board that I'm using is 20 by 30. So I was able to um, use one uh, lengthy piece, one 20 by 30, and then the other two pieces had to be cut to measure. And I'm going to move the camera a little bit so you can get a, a good look at uh, what I did. And so I've gotten um, the entire back of the board covered except for uh, the piece that you see over there to your right. That's going to make it so much easier in the future because when this is picked up that uh, there won't be any splintering that will happen um, with hands and that kind of thing. So um, I wanted to make sure that I did that. What I also did too was that um, you can see I put some dollhouse bandages uh, to cover uh, the openings here. So uh, that makes it look so much nicer too. Now, the other thing I'm going to have to do here, and I'm going to do my very best to turn the board over without um, making too much of a, a problem here. Give me a moment. Now, there's a section here at the top, and I'll pull this down a little further, right there at the top, there, if I can get that down, that I'm going to need to uh, trim off there. Here's a look at the board after the two sides are fixed. Before the glue sets, some was also applied to the island bottom. Switching sides, wall 2 was then glued to wall 1 and the floor. Rather than placing wall 3 lengthwise on the board, I placed it widthwise, enlarging the kitchen for optimal filming and staging, continued construction, placement of appliances, kitchen items, and the dolls. Off camera, a partition was attached to wall 2, and wall 3 was painted. Before installing wall 3, the splendid mid-century clock purchased on eBay was glued to the wall. I'll leave the link in the description. Since copper gelatin molds were popular in the 1960s and into the 70s, added to the kitchen's decor is Mattel's Special Collection Cookware Set from 1997, featuring a fish and heart gelatin molds, a ceramic serving platter, hand beater with mixing bowl, and a spice rack. And now, the moment you've been waiting for, I present my Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen.
Join me next time for the continuation of the Deluxe Reading Dream Kitchen build. And until then, thank you so very much for watching. The day after filming the closing kitchen scenes, the rotary telephone I ordered arrived along with an adorable scarecrow, a gift with the purchase. It looked so incredible on the countertop, it was permanently attached.